Now let's go ahead and edit another photo in On One Layers, and this time I'm going to add a reflection of the sky to the image. So I have this photo of Shark Fin Cove selected. I'll go ahead and click on Layers. I already have the Nicolzi Sky and Cloud pack selected inside of the Extras panel. So I'll go ahead and double click on one of those skies and add it as a layer. Now I need to go to that Transform tool, and I'm going to fill it to Canvas and then click Apply. I'm going to go ahead and move this and just kind of move it up so it's not all the way at the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to, I'll have to apply that first, and now I'm going to relocate this sky layer so it's at the bottom of the Layers panel. Next I'm going to click back on that top image and I'm going to mask out that blank blue sky. For this, I'm going to use the Quick Mask. I'll select the Quick Mask brush inside of that toolbar, and then just do a sweep. Make sure that I'm set to paint out. I'm going to do a sweep across the entire sky. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then On One goes through, finds that area, and then masks it out. Now if I zoom in, I can see that there is some kind of chunkiness along the edge. So I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to use the Perfect Brush to do that. So I'm going to press B to go to my Brush tool, and then I'm going to activate the Perfect Brush by using the keyboard shortcut Command R, and that little icon at the top turns blue. That tells me that I have the Perfect Brush activated. And now I'm going to sweep over my image, but I'm going to make sure that I keep the middle of the cursor, that little minus sign, I'm going to keep it in the sky area. If I were to accidentally go off into the rock, then it would start to remove that rock as well. So I just want to make sure that I'm only removing the sky area. And I'm just going to have to do this manually. And just keep going through. Some of these areas need a little bit more than others. And don't worry if it's not perfect because we'll go back and we'll fix some of these. I just kind of want a nice, kind of a clean, normal edge. You can see some of these get really kind of weird and pixely and chunky, and uh, that that doesn't that doesn't really um, give me a good starting place because I'm going to need to use some of those other tools that will work off of those edges, like the chisel tool and the blur tool. All right. So with that said, let's go into the chisel tool. I'm going to click on it once. I have my amount set to 1, that's perfect. So now I'm just going to double click this tool, and as I do that, it applies a global chisel across the entire edge of that image. I'm going to do that one more time. It's not really getting this little spot here, so I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of blur. So I'll double click that blur tool, and that's a really subtle effect, you probably didn't see much happen. And then I'm going to go back to the chisel tool and chisel everything once again. And now let's go ahead and sweep through and see how it looks. There's a few areas here that need to be cleaned up, but I think everything else looks uh, really good. Do have some areas down here that need to be cleaned up as well. I'll get to that with the brush tool here in a moment. Now I'm going to try using the refine brush on some of these little splotchy areas. So I'm going to click on that refine brush, check my settings. I don't want color decontamination set, so I'll make sure that's unchecked. I'm going to Reduce that size using the left bracket key. And then I'm just going to kind of tap and sweep over these little sections so it removes that background. And I think I have a little, few little spots over here and then just right along this edge. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to back out here. I'm going to press the O key, which will help me preview the mask. And I'm going to zoom in because I see over on the far right here that I have some strange little pixels that didn't quite, um, that for some reason disappeared. Uh, they must have been reflecting from the sky, so it looked like sky, and that's probably why they, they got deleted, so, or, or masked, I should say. So I'm just going to go into the simple brush tool. I'm going to, let's see, reduce the size. And I'm going to make sure that I am painting in so I have a little plus icon. Oh, I also want to uncheck that perfect brush because I'm just doing normal, simple masking. Press O, and we're good to go. Okay, so I have a new sky dropped into the background. 
But the problem is this sky doesn't really reflect well. It doesn't really match what I have going on in the water and the sand. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the sky and I'm gonna duplicate the layer using this little icon on the far left. And then I'm gonna move it up to the top. Now I'm gonna select that transform tool. I'm going to flip it vertically and then relocate it down so it's pretty much just in that water area. I'll go ahead and click apply. And now I just need to blend this with the water. So I'll select that blending drop down and I'll go to soft light, that should be a good one. I'm also going to move it down a little bit more. And I'll click apply. And there's a little bit of a harsh line here, so I'm going to need to blend that. And I'm gonna use the masking bug for that. I'll click on masking bug, and I'll make sure that it's set to linear top. And then I just click once in the image, and it blends that layer, so that way there's a nicer transition between the two. Now I'm just gonna go back to this very bottom sky here, and I don't know if you can see that there's a little bit of a cloud kind of peeking and touching that top part, and I want it to match up with what I see there. So I'm gonna to go to my Move tool, and I'm just gonna use my arrow keys and just kind of nudge it down a little bit, and that's good. I'll click Apply. So that's how you replace a sky and also add the sky to the reflection of water using On One Layers. <laughs>